Okay guys, here we are. Welcome to uh, the RST32 demo for the uh, PIC microcontroller series uh, chips. Here's uh, basically our breadboard demo setup right here. We've got our RST32 transceiver chip right here. We've got all those capacitors, those charge pump capacitors here. There's five of them. So we've got the one on the input power and then the four charge pumps. Then we've got our PIC uh, 16F886 chip right here. And then we've got, here's our mem clear. This is our mem clear that comes in here. And then we've also got our two 470 ohm resistors. And then we've got our two little LEDs right here that we're going to be using. There again is our, uh, there, our 7805 voltage regulator. Um, this one, I could only find a, a big like 30 volt capacitor, but that's why this one's so big. But that's our 100 microfarad, and there's our little tiny 0.1 microfarad capacitor for noise suppression. Then, if we kind of back up a little bit, here is our RS-232 link. Um, basically, you can buy these at Radio Shack, um, very cheap, and I just used some phone wire to um, make the wires go in it. And so you see you've got basically this is receive and transmit, pin 2 and 3, going down to our chip. And then we've got pin 5, which is our ground, going down. And then we've got this lone wolf over here <clears throat> is our uh, uh, RTS, or ready to send line. It's going in here, then coming out here, and jumps up and ties in, if you can see that, ties in right up here with the 10K. So that's, that's our mem clear. So that'll then trigger our mem clear to reset our chip. So what we are going to do is we are going to program our chip, which um, I'll stop the camera and I'll pull this out and put it in our programmer. I'm going to be using the ME Labs uh, U2 programmer. It's basically a USB programmer and um, has a ZIF. And we'll be placing it in here and then we'll be programming the chip. So let's go ahead and put the chip in the ZIF. Okay, so now we've got the, the, pit, the chip seated in the ZIF. So, like I say, you just lift up this little lever, that unlocks it, and then it's loose, and then you put it in, flip this down, and then it's in there solid, and you can't get it out. So, so that's how you place it in there, clamp it down, and make sure you pay attention to these markings. See, like this says pin 8 to 20, pin 1 will go here, but on this side, you can see it pin 28 to 40, which that is what our chip is, pin 1 is actually up here which is where we've got it. So pay attention to those markings if you're using this U2 programmer. So now we're going to go over to the programming. So we'll go over to our computer. And now we're going to program it. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our file, which we're going to get to that. So we get our RS-232 demo here. We're going to get our bootloader. So there's our bootloader. See, as you can see, it's very, very small. There's not a lot of stuff going on here, which is very good. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to click program. So we just program that and then program complete. So now our bootloader is now successfully burnt to the chip. So now what we're going to do is I'll then remove this out and place it back into our circuit over here. So I'm going to stop the camera and do that right fast. Okay, welcome back. We've got the chip seated back into the circuit. And so we're about ready to get going here. I wanted to point out that we've also got our RS-232 to USB cable, which um, what it is is basically this is that cable I was talking about. It's got a USB port on one end, then comes over here and has a, the RS-232 port on the other end. And so this is if you have a computer like mine that doesn't have any RS-232 ports on it, this will do the we'll do that conversion for you that I showed you in other episodes. So um, anyway, we've got our power supply, which um, we've got hooked up. You got your power and your ground hooked up into our circuit. And what I'm doing is actually, this is a good thing, good practice to do is unhook the power side, turn your power supply on and make sure that you got the voltage you want, which I'm using 12 volts. That way our regulator uh, seen here, our regulator will regulate that down to the 5 volts, 5 volt logic that we need for our chip. So make sure that that's on that. Turn it off. And then we can plug it in. Now we are ready to go. So um, let's go ahead and power it up. Power up our system. Okay. So now we've got power going to it. So the bootloader should be running. 
So now, since there is zero code on it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run, uh, like I told you before, run your check pick um, button on your little tiny bootloader program that comes with the tiny bootloader to make sure everything's functioning properly. So we're gonna check, check pick and then see, found 16F886. So that means it did, it found it. So that's very, very good. So now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna load our software to it. So what we're gonna do is come over here to browse, find our LED on code except I want the RS232 demo one. So we want our LED on, okay? So now we're going to click right flash and hopefully everything will get written properly. So right flash, said right okay. And then if we look over here, there it is. Hooray! So everything was successfully written. So and now our little blink program is working. Two LEDs are blinking like they're supposed to. And so that's that's about it. Uh, the next video we'll be uh, dealing with the um, with uh, the RS two thirty two using a terminal application. And see it see it write words um, out to the screen. But that's basically it. Very straightforward. So this concludes the demo of the the. Uh, bootloader so we'll be back with the uh, RS-232 uh, writing uh, strings to and from